Welcome to A Course in Business Miracles. This is Heather Dominic, creator of businessmiracles.com and founder and leader of the highly sensitive entrepreneur movement. Join me today for some genuine practical assistance and a business altering and life changing experience. A business miracle. This is A Course in Business Miracles, episode number seven consistency. Learn how to break free from the top three highly sensitive entrepreneur shadows, overwhelm, over responsibility and over protection. The business miracle focus for today's training is consistency. For years now, I've been putting into practice for myself in my own business, as well as teaching to other HSEs, highly sensitive entrepreneurs, what I refer to as the four C's of marketing. And you'll want to write these down. Connection, communication, call to action, and consistency. If you don't have all four of these C's activated in your marketing, you're not marketing. Connection, that's about just really making an authentic, genuine connection with your potential ideal clients. Communication, that's being clear in your message and what it is that you are here to deliver, what it is that you are here to offer to your potential ideal clients. Call to action, that's about inviting your potential ideal clients to take a step forward and to join you in a service that's going to transform their lives through the unique way that you deliver and really, truly bring them to a bigger and better place in their own experience. Consistency, that's about doing the three previous C's ongoing, constantly, regularly, and within a scheduled and systematized practice way so that you're consistently in connection with your potential ideal clients You're consistently communicating with your ideal clients, and you're consistently calling to action your potential ideal clients. During Business Miracles Live, which is a training retreat for HSEs of the A Course in Business Miracles six-month group program, there were 125 HSEs in the room, and I asked them to raise their hand for every and any of the four C's they had difficulty with. Not one person in the room raised their hand for connection. No surprise there, right? We have a room filled with HSEs who are highly empathic and highly intuitive and are good at making an authentic, genuine connection. A handful of people in the room raise their hand for communication, having difficulty with communication, and that makes sense. For HSEs, the shadow of perfectionism and deep thinking can create analysis paralysis when it comes to delivering that message, your message, through the avenue of communication. Call to action. Three quarters of the room raise their hand. Yikes, because the call to action is about selling, right? Which is why I have a very specific process of selling that's designed for the highly sensitive entrepreneur. And this is so important that I've dedicated two of the foundational principles in the six-month group program specifically to the HSE success system for selling. Consistency, the entire room raised their hand. 
consistency is key. And without it, all of the other C's and your marketing efforts are thwarted. So let's look at this more deeply. Consistency, according to Webster's Dictionary, is steadfast adherence to the same principles, course, or form. For example, there is consistency in her pattern of behavior. When you're consistent in your marketing message or marketing actions, your potential clients feel that they can rely on you. And I want you to write that down. Let me say that again. When you're consistent in your marketing message or marketing actions, your potential clients feel that they can rely on you. And with that feeling of being able to rely on you comes trust. And with the experience of trust comes assurance. And with assurance comes confidence. And that's a strong place for a potential client to be in when making a buying decision. And I want you to write that down, too. When you're not consistent, then your potential ideal clients feel that they cannot rely on you. But more importantly, when you're not consistent in your business, you don't feel that you can rely on you. And I want you to write that down. This is a dark, downward spiral of beating up on yourself. Or it's a roller coaster ride of HSE pushing, hiding, pushing, hiding. Not pretty, not fun, and not a beneficial business plan. Now, let's really pick this apart a little bit here, okay? So, what I just shared. Again, is that when you're consistent in your marketing message and your marketing actions, your potential clients feel they can rely on you. With that reliability comes trust. With trust comes assurance. With assurance comes confidence. And that's a strong place for a potential client to be in to make a buying decision from. What's ironic is that rather than Serving the importance of consistency to create confidence in their potential ideal clients, most HSEs will work hard to prove how worthy they are by getting just one more certification, one more piece of education, one more piece of training in their area of skill rather than in the area of marketing, selling, and business building. So you don't need more education when it comes to the area in which you're talented, your royal advisor seat. What's needed for business success as an HSE more than anything is this act of consistency. Now, what's also ironic is that HSEs are some of the most high-integrity people on the planet. So why in the world are we creating distrust with ourselves through non-consistent behavior, and actions. Well, reason number one would be that you are living in your HSE shadows more than you're living in your HSE strengths. And reason number two is that you have not yet developed inner and outer business core practices. 
Now, what do I mean by core practice? Well, let's go back to Webster's Dictionary. Core means the central, most essential part of anything. And practice means repeated, systematic exercise for the purpose of acquiring skill or proficiency. So another irony is that HSEs are brilliant at core practice in other areas of your life such as your spiritual practice, your health or food practice, your self-care practice. Am I right? Many of us have an established spiritual practice, whatever that might mean for you, consistent meditation or other forms of connecting in with your spirit, your higher life force. Health and food. I've worked with HSEs long enough now to know that there's certain food requirements at our training retreats. And whenever I ask the room, raise your hand if you've got your little snacky bag with you, packed with your own little snacks for your own little digestive system, the majority of the room raises their hand, myself included. And self-care, well, again, as HSEs, we're very good at soothing ourselves, most likely because most of the time we have ourselves, again, on that roller coaster ride of pushing and hiding, creating suffering, and then needing to create soothing, creating suffering, and then needing to create soothing. But HSEs don't tend to establish core practice with your business. And the reason that I found is because the practices you have tried to make your core in your business don't feel good to you. They're not aligned with you. So then the key really is about establishing inner and outer business core practices that are aligned with you. Then you'll be consistent. And then you'll have trust in yourself and others' trust in you. And then you'll have more business flow. And I want you to write that down. This is so important that it's exactly why community, core practice, and consistency are at the heart of how the six-month group program and all of my Business Miracle programs are designed. According to A Course in Miracles, the very essence of the course is about practice. It's a retraining of the mind. It's an opening to that little willingness, an opening to the glory, to the magnitude that is you and how you're designed as an HSE. And it's an opening to see things differently. It's an opening to miracles. According to A Course in Miracles, there is the request of, I ask to see a different world and think a different kind of thought from these I made. So when it comes to consistency, there's something in your business that you're being consistent with. The question is, is it the actions, is it the behavior that's going to bring you the business success that you so desire? The best way to answer that question is take a look around. Look around at what you're experiencing on a day to day, and you'll see what you're being consistent with because your consistency creates your experience. And I want you to write that down. Your consistency creates your experience. The question is, are you being consistent with HSE shadows 
or are you being consistent with HSE strengths? Are you being consistent with practices that are powered by the HSE shadows, such as distraction and confusion and overwhelm and avoidance? Or are you being consistent with practices that are fueled by your HSE strengths? Using your intuition to make decisions. Using your deep thinking to make deep connections. And your deep feeling to make deep connections. Using your empathic abilities to create a very clear communication. with your ideal clients, and most importantly, your potential ideal clients. And if in this moment, as you're taking a look around at your business and you're thinking, well, I I don't know. I don't know how to do things differently, Heather, and I'm, I'm just not sure I can. We remember that everything is shifting from the limited thought of I can't, to the expanded thought of how can I? So when you think I can't, when you think I can't establish business core practices that are aligned for me, I can't be consistent in my business, or even I can't join the A Course in Business Miracle six-month group program for this, that, and the other reason unreasonable reason. Then we go back to the prayer from the course, which is, again, I ask to see a different world and think a different kind of thought from these I made. And I'll say it one more time. It's that important. I ask to see a different world and think a different kind of thought from these I made. According to A Course in Miracles, no one can fail who seeks to reach the truth. And the truth is always about expansion and possibility. Illusion is about limitation and lack. So here's your Course in Business Miracles assignment. Number one, give yourself an honest assessment. When it comes to your business, how consistent are you with operating from your HSE strengths on a scale of one to ten? And when it comes to your business core practices, what are they right now? No right, no wrong, no judgment, just honest assessment. Number two, practice V and V energy, being visible and vulnerable. And share what you discovered through your honest assessment. Number four, X. Expect business miracles, and especially with consistency. And then share the business miracles you're receiving. And then just a recap before we wrap. We have the four business miracle C's of marketing. Connection, communication, call to action, and consistency. Consistency equals trust. Trust in yourself and others trust in you. The power of the aligned business core practice. And a reminder that this whole process is a retraining of your mind from I can't to how can I. 
Give yourself the gift of going through today's assignment and honest assessment. Consistency on a scale of 1 to 10 and core practices, what are they right now? Awesome. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoyed this episode of A Course in Business Miracles. If you're ready to learn how to use your highly sensitive abilities to support you in being purposeful, profitable, and empowered rather than scattered, poor, and undervalued, take my free self quiz to find out if you are indeed a highly sensitive entrepreneur. And if you are, along with your quiz results, you'll receive my free HSE success guide, which will teach you how to have your highly sensitive abilities working for you to create the results you desire in your business. Take the quiz and receive your free success guide now at www.hsequiz.com.